Hey guys, so in this tutorial, let's check out how to make use of specific version of Flutter SDK for your specific project. So sometimes what happens is you might be making use of some dependencies that might require a specific version of SDK to be used and it cannot uh, be compatible with any other version. At this time, your Flutter project should also be built by making use of that particular SDK. So in this tutorial, let's check out how to make your Flutter project to be dependent on a particular SDK or that particular project can make use of a specific version of Flutter SDK. So in this video tutorial, we are going to learn about that. So let's get started. Okay, so now we are in our Android Studio IDE and here is a Flutter project been opened. And if I run my command that is Flutter version, you might see that I am making use of 3.19.2 that has been installed in this laptop itself. So if I create any new Flutter project, the project will be automatically dependent on this Flutter SDK version that is 3.19.2. But I want to change the Flutter SDK version for this specific project. So I can make use of a tool called as FPM. So you can just Google FVM and it will just open this website. So this is simple uh, Flutter version management tool by which you can uh, give a specific version for a specific uh, project. So let's check out how we can install this in your uh, Flutter project. Okay, so to install this, the guide has been provided in this website itself. So we'll just split the screen over here. You just need to run some command. So just get started. So here installation is there. So over here, just go to your uh, specific operating system mine is windows and you just need to run this command first of all to install fpm in your laptop or system so just copy this and paste it in a terminal and just hit enter so it will just download it and you can see uh, fpm has been activated that is 3.0.12 okay and here a warning has been shown that is you just need to add this path as an environment variable okay so let's do that so just copy this thing and open env environment variable okay so here let me check if it works yeah okay so here just go to edit and down somewhere over here add new and just paste the path that you have copied so by this you can just access fpm fvm sorry fvm okay so it might give me a warning because i need to restart my ide to use the terminal so you can see it is giving me a warning so let me stop this terminal and open a new terminal and now if i run fpm it's still giving me a warning i need think i need to start the complete uh, or restart my system okay so let me restart my system and come back okay so after restarting my ide you can see i can access fpm easily okay so if i run this again so you can see i can use it so it is giving some command to configure our uh, flutter project so let's check out how we can use them one by one so first of all, uh, we must check out which version of Flutter SDK has been installed. So for this FPM list we can do. Okay, so you can see I have still not installed any SDK in FPM. So it is saying no SDK has been installed yet. So to get the list of all the uh, FPM version, you can just enter a command uh, that is FPM will release. So this will just provide you all the list that is available to be installed. So you can see here is the version that you can make use of. So you can just install any one. So currently there is no SDK being installed. Let me choose any one from this and install this. So I will just use uh, 3.10. Point two, okay so this version i want to install so to install this specific version you just need to make use of fvm install 3.10.2 okay so it will just install this version in your system okay so it will it will just download the sdk for this specific uh, project itself so it might take some time depending on your internet speed so let's wait okay so the sdk version has been installed that is 3.10.2 you can see over here it has been completed so now if I run the command that is fpm list, you might see the list of uh, Flutter SDK that I can make use of. So now if I want some other version to be installed, that also I can use install. So fpm install. Okay, so let me pick any uh, version from this. So I will just take any older version that is 3.7.5. Okay, so I'll just enter it 3.7.5. So this might take some time as per the internet speed as I said. Okay, so it got installed. So now if I run fpm list, you might get all the list of SDK that you have installed previously. So now if I want to apply any of this uh, 
SDK for this particular project you just need to be in that particular project directory and you just need to run a command that is vm use and here you just need to uh, provide the SDK version that you have installed so I will just view this that is 3.10.2 so this SDK version will be applied for this specific project okay so let's wait for that okay so it will just apply over here okay so the applying process has been completed and now if I see my project structure there might be a folder being created by name dot fvm so if i open this so it will have the packages that this project is been using in this version so you can see over here and you can see 3.10.2 we have installed for this project and if we check vm configure dot json file you can see a flutter sdk version that is 3.10.2 is been used in this particular project so now if i open any other project okay so it will just make use of the basic or the standard uh, flutter sdk version that was been built for this particular project and for this separate project the uh, sdk version that we have declared is been used over here so that's all for this video tutorial thanks for watching please do subscribe protocol this point thank you